Uh, what is up, Barbara Hypertool Games here? Monkeys, this is intro real short. Uh, this is my PS4 collection. Uh, let's get into it. All right. So I have a little over 100 games for PS4, so that's why I'm just gonna go to this real fucking quick because I don't feel like uh, having an hour long video. Pretty good game. I'll oh, start talking about it a little bit. Uh, Assassin's Creed, I'm a huge Assassin's Creed fan. I think I might have all of them for PS4. I might be wrong though. I kind of figured there's like 300 now or something. So many. This is one of the best ones. I think everyone agrees on that. This is a good one. You'll probably hear the games fall in the background. I kind of stacked them a little bit fucked up. So that's great. Odyssey, this is probably my favorite one. I don't know, stupid. The XP is very annoying because you basically have to buy the XP boost. This is a good one too. I love Viking times, but I wasn't a big fan of the quest or setup and stuff. Battle for Hardline, the only Battlefield ever beaten. Battlefield 1, probably one of the cheapest games ever. I think everywhere, as you can see, it's used. But most of my games are brand new because PS4 is like my favorite system. But uh, you can find this everywhere for 99 cents. It's hilarious. Um, I think probably the most, uh, Hardline is probably the most hated, but this is probably the second most hated. I feel like I thought it was pretty good. I'm definitely more of a cop person anyway, though. Bioshock collection. I never beaten a Bioshock. Infinite's the only one I've ever got close to. Borderlands, I'm a big fan of Borderlands. This is my friend Jake's one of his favorite games. Not the first one, I think his favorite is the second one. But I still like him a lot. I think we're going to try to beat him all this weekend. Not this, not all of them this weekend, that'd be ridiculous. We're going to try to start beating them this weekend. Uh, Call of Duty Ghost. That's my, in my top three favorite Call of Duty. I know it's the most hated, but I love it. Call of Duty Ghost Steelbook. Uh, sorry if you hear me breathe it. It's super fucking hot. Call of Duty, uh... Advanced Warfare, this is the only one in my entire collection, I think, that I never resold. Because I used to be really bad about reselling my games. This is my original copy, which I think is pretty cool. All the way from when it first came out. Black Ops 3, the best zombies in the whole series, I don't care. Uh, Infinite Warfare with the Mono Warfare bundle, which is pretty cool. I like the Space Land, but the rest of it was pretty trash. Because I'm a huge zombie fan. World War II, Steelbook, I think I got this for $10, which is pretty cool. I like Steelbooks a lot. Then we got Black Ops 4, me and my dad and my girlfriend and my brother. Played this a fuck ton. Not a fuck ton, I would say like probably 400, 500 hours, which is a lot, I guess. Then we got uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. The best Call of Duty in the last like five years, I would say. Then we got the worst Call of Duty of all time. Call of Duty, is it even in here? Oh, it must be my PlayStation. Don't know why, she doesn't have the disc, but this is the worst Call of Duty ever. I don't care. And then you'll realize how much of an idiot I am because I bought DLC for it, but I thought it was cool to have DLC and physical. I don't know why. Again, dumbass. That's what I'm Crash Insane Trilogy. I love Crash games, even though I've only beaten Crash Team Racing, but my dog can have a crash. I feel like I've said that a hundred times. But uh, I love it. This game's a lot of fun. I think it's kind of cool because it's a little bit harder to learn than like Mario Kart and shit. Even though I love Mario Kart, Mario Kart's amazing. Days Gone this is an awesome zombie game. I was super addicted to it till I hit the stealth mission. I'm a garbage at stealth, and every time a game has a stealth mission, I end up quitting, even if I'm in love with it. This is, gosh, damn it. This is probably the worst edition game I have in my entire collection. Like, it's kind of fucked. But uh, I'm going to buy me everything, a brand new copy, and try to keep it sealed. Destiny, another friend, a friend, another game my friend really likes. I think the second one's better, but he likes the first one. I'm just gonna show these two at the same time. Destiny 2 and Destiny 2, but one's with the DLC and one's not. Because this one I got used, this one I bought brand new for like $10. Then we got the Doom Slayer Collection, pretty awesome because of Doom, Doom 2, Doom 3, and Doom 2016. Then we got, uh, I got Doom 2016 on its own. I put it in this red case because I thought it'd be cool because it's all about hell and shit. Then we got Doom Eternal. I think this is, I don't like this game. Not that it's bad or anything, I just don't like part four. The Universe 2, my cousin Trey loves this game. And Black does too. I think this is the best Dragon Ball Z game to come out in a long time. Fighter Z. Maybe it's because I like fighting games a lot, but. Dragon Quest XI, I had a lot of fun with this. I have a problem where I like to grind too much though, and then I end up getting bored. Dragon Quest Builders 2, I got super addicted to this on PS4, and then my PS4 broke, and I lost all my data, so I stopped playing. And I bought my new one. Dying Light, everyone likes that game, I don't think it's that great. Fallout 4, I love this game, I love all Fallouts. And we got everyone's favorite Fallout ever. Fallout 76, I got Steelbook, which didn't really come with anything cool, but I think it was like $20, I was like, fuck it. 
Far Cry New Dawn. I don't know why it's the only Far Cry I've new physically. I love Far Cry. It's the only one I haven't beaten besides the original. I haven't beaten the original or this one. Final Fantasy VII Remake. I think this is fun. Not as fun as I was hoping, but it's also my first like real Final Fantasy game I put a lot of time into. It was pretty fun. I like turn base better. Game Beast is pretty fun with uh, some friends and shit. I don't know why it doesn't have a platinum. It pisses me off. I know everybody hates this game. That's why I bought it because. Oh wait, is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. This is the most. This one with the. It came out at the same time as the movie with the uh, girl characters. But uh, Angry Joe, my favorite YouTuber, he made a review about it. That's why I wanted to buy it because I just thought it was hilarious how bad it was. Oh, this is the good Ghostbusters game. Sorry, I totally skipped over it. This is fun. Ghost of Tsushima, I love this game, but again, the same thing happened where my PS4 broke, so I just stopped playing because it sucks to lose all your data if you're 10 hours, 20 hours in a game. Got a war, again, same thing. Stopped playing because I got about halfway through and then my fucking PlayStation broke. Hitman 1, Steelbook, I don't know how you clean that cardboard, I need to figure that out. I love Steelbook still. God damn it, people keep, my dad keeps leaving, so it shuts my door. Uh, Hitman 2, I haven't played Hitman 2 actually at all. I just bought it because I like the first one. Horizon Zero Dawn. Haven't played it really at all. I think I have like an hour in it. Uh, Infamous Second Son. I have like an hour in it. That's a bad thing. Most of these games, Justice 2, I beat this the first time I bought it. I love fighting games. Every time I buy a fighting game, I pretty much beat it that night because I get addicted to them very easily. Just Cause 4. Just Cause 3 is my favorite, but this is still pretty fun. And we got uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. It's alright, I think. Sorry if the energy's not super high, this is a lot, a lot of talking. Uh, Lego Harry Potter collection, I love the Lego Harry Potter games. The Lego Star Wars is clearly the best though, I think you all would agree. Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, I don't think I've played that at all. Lego DC Villains, or Super Villains, I don't think I've played that at all. Great game. Mafia Definitive Edition, love this, I beat this pretty quickly. Uh, Man Eater, I probably had like 3-4 hours in it, I think it's pretty fun. And another game I had a lot of fun with, which I know is a funny story to tell. I'm playing the first one, never played Mass Effect before, and I'm so stupid, I don't know where the, uh, how to get back to where you start missions, so I stopped playing. Which I know is embarrassing, and I probably could just look it up, but I'm lazy. Medieval, I have not played this at all. Or about halfway through, probably. Shadow of Tomb Raider, uh, pretty fun. I think that's the third one. Uh, regret buying this, but it's whatever. Rust, console edition. Oh yeah, Resident Evil Village, I don't think this game left my PS4 disk drive till I beat it, even though I didn't want it to end. Resident Evil 7, amazing. Resident Evil, Resident Evil 7 actually, I should say, is a game that got me really back into it, because I had 5 and then I stopped at 6, and I didn't play for years and years and years till 7 it was like a year old already. Resident Evil 3, I thought it was fun, I beat this the first night I think I got it. Resident Evil 2 is the only one on my Resident Evils I have not beat. I think it's fun, but I don't know. I'm not a big fan of puzzles. Is why I stopped with some of the Resident Evil games. Even though it's a good game, I can tell, but I just don't like puzzles. Resident Evil Revelations was pretty fun. And my favorite game of all time. I need to buy, like, a normal version of this. I think I'm starting to lose my voice already, which is pretty pathetic. Uh, Rayman Legends, I think it's pretty fun. I also suck at uh, platformers, so... I didn't play it all the way. Ratchet and Clank, I'm super sad I don't have a PS5. I want to play the new one so bad. It looks amazing. I'm super excited for it. That would probably be the only game. Like, if I could get a PS5 today, that would be the only game. I, that and Miles Morales would probably be two games that I would pick up. Ratchet and Clank, though. Great game. Rage 2, pretty fun. I actually beat this on Xbox One. Uh, this game will actually surprise me. I think this is a pretty good game. If you can find it for, like, $20 or less, I definitely think you should pick it up. Need for Speed, Heat, uh, it's alright. I do love racing games. This one's a way better one. Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit Remastered. I have a lot of fun with this. And I don't even like sports games, but I do like basketball a little bit and UFC. But I don't know why I own this and 18. I just, this I think I got $5 brand new and this I think I bought for, oh, I saw the sticker on it. But uh, I think it was like $2 or something like that, so I just picked it up. Or Kombat 11, my favorite fighting game probably of all time. Steelbook Edition. Or Premium Edition, sorry. Mortal Kombat X, this is a pretty amazing one. I love it. I played the phone version a lot. Uh, Minecraft, everyone's favorite. Um, Metro Exodus. 
again if you guys uh just like all my other videos if you guys see any games you guys think i should pick up comment down below this is by far my biggest collection the next is switch i believe or ps3 oh this is one thing i have this digitally but i still bought it physically because i'm dumb but you guys know this fucking bullshit that GameStop does where you buy a game for full price normal and then they just do this. Like, what the fuck is that? That little stupid sticker thing. I'm just going to leave it sealed, but then it even comes sealed. Watch out, Legion. Legion. I love this game because I always wanted to go to London and obviously it's kind of cool to check it out. I don't know if it's like GTA 5 where it's super close to it. Watch out, Shoes. I think Watch out, Legion is more fun to me personally. Until Dawn. That's a pretty fun horror game. Not super scary, I don't think, but UFC 4, my favorite of this series. I have a lot of fun. I have like 60, 70 hours in this. I love this game. I have it basically platinum, except for I fucking, I have one more trophy I cannot get because I'm trash at online. UFC 3, this is a great one. UFC 2, I fucking hate this one. Witcher 3, a great game. I love fucking chopping people in half and shit. Pretty fun. I, I think I have it physically for everything. Oh, wait, no, I don't have Xbox One. Outer Worlds, this is a fun Fallout type game. Uh, Last of Us Part 2, fucking hated it. Haven't beat it, but the first hour, I just didn't want to see, uh, you know what happened, I'm not going to spoil it. Last of Us Remastered, this is a great game, I love this game, I think I don't need to tell anybody that though. Uh, Outer Worlds Online, it's whatever. It's pretty fun, not nearly as good as Skyrim, it doesn't even touch Skyrim or any of the other ones. Skyrim, great game. Second favorite game of all time. This might be the only my sticker on the front. Does Division One? Obviously, I got it for seven dollars. Tom, or Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Oh, that's pretty fun. Me and my brother, and my girlfriend played it. I still have the sealed Ghost Recon Wildlands. I think I just wanted to wait till I beat the other one before I open it. Uh, Team Sonic Racing. This is probably the worst out of the kart racers that came out like a year or two ago, but it's still a lot of fun. I love kart racers. Uh, this is pretty fun. Uh, Star Wars: The Jedi Fallen Order. Kind of feels a little bit like the Witcher, at least combat wise, or Dark Souls, whatever you want to say. Battlefront 2. I need to buy a new case for this. This is ridiculous. I tried to on it and it didn't really work, but it has a marker on it. I just need to buy a new case. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront 1. Just beat this actually last week. Kind of. It doesn't really have a story mission. It has a bunch of missions, though. Spyro Riot Reignited Trilogy. I love Spyro. I used to play it on my cousin's uh, original PlayStation. Man, I'm really going to lose my voice. Spongebob so Battle for Bikini Bottom. Kind of disappointing. It wasn't nearly as good as the original. Just because it looks like shit. But. Uh, and Spider-Man Year. The g Game of the Year edition. Two times. Because one's the other one's not. Because I asked my fam uh, family for Miles Morales. And they actually just got me normal Spider-Man. But it's whatever. Keep one sealed forever. Sonic Mania. Mania pretty fun. Street Fighter 5. Also beat this the first day. It's only like three four hours Maybe. Maybe pretty fun though and the last game i guess it weren't alphabetical order but anymore then shadow of war gold edition i used to have the normal disc but i don't know what i did with it so yeah look at all that all right guys really sorry about the low energy this is a lot to talk through and i've been working overtime at work for almost three weeks now and i'm just exhausted but i don't want to fucking keep being late on the videos i accidentally made the last two weeks of monday videos late please like and subscribe uh, I promise I'm not always down like this. Uh, love you guys. Have a great day.